Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing a video for Moonwater, I think is what it was. Let me try. Yeah, Moonwater. Okay. Um, this is my new Book of Shadows, or my temporary Book of Shadows, so to say. I'm calling it Book of Wicked Wisdom. So. In case anyone wants to know, that's actually the path I follow in paganism is Wicca. Wait, I think I went over this. I did. Never mind. My video camera charger. Now, what you're going to need to do this is a wand. I'm using my mini wand. Something that has protective energy. I use mass amounts of sea salt. I don't know if you can see in there, this sea salt. Yeah, I'll pull some out. I have some nice big crystal sea salt. So you're gonna need your wand. Let me move this out of the way. Your wand. Your protective thing. I'm also using my amulet. I just made this the other day, so I just made this last night. I'm really excited. I haven't actually gotten to use it in my practice yet. <clears throat> what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my magic increasement um, witch's bottle, but that is optional. You do not need that. You want something that will have some protective and cleansing powers for you. So I'm using my own little mixture. And that This is kept secret, so I will not be telling you how to make that, so you'll have to figure out how to do it yourself. You're going to want um, water, obviously. We'll be getting that in a minute. You're also going to want your candles. So I'll get these candles out. I'll pour the water. You know what? I have my water right here. I'm, not just, I'm pouring it into this. I'm using a drinking... Oh, you're also going to want an altar cloth. Now that I'm thinking, you're going to want your altar cloth. So let me pour this water. Can I be very careful? Okay. Ooh, I was making a mess. Hold on. I'm gonna clean up my own mess. So put that on my altar here. Uh, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, you will you've noticed what my altar looks like, and you know that is not my altar. Just adjusting the camera. This is my um, mini altar sort of thing. I have three altars and counting. Um, I have two mini altars and the altar that you've seen in my previous videos, in my very first video, if I'm remembering right, which is a long time ago. But this is my newest altar addition. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to place your altar... Here, let me get the mic here. You're going to place your altar cloth on your altar. Then you're going to place certain items on here that you're using. So you're going to need your wand, and you place that in the far left corner, your water goes in the center of whatever symbol is on your altar cloth or in the exact center of your altar cloth, if you can figure that out. Place your candles. If you're using sized candles, um, I like to put the largest in the back, but this can vary from person to person. Um, you want to go in clockwise motion, so largest back, medium, corner, smallest here. And this is a clockwise formation. I put them in, in a clockwise order. My magic increasement goes to the far right corner. You can't quite see that, but I'll bring the camera over here in a minute. And your protection. Um, since I am using salt, um, I'm going to take the, a handful of salt. I'm actually going to circle it around the water. Clockwise formation. 
You want to put it on in clockwise order. Otherwise, it can very badly damage the energy pole in the water. And this will, this recipe can work with many different um, moon phases. Right now, we're doing a waxing moon, which is will help incorporate certain things into your life, such as bringing in um, money or bringing things to you. So bringing money, um, bringing love, bringing peace, bringing something. Now with my mixture, um, I'm going to shake this up and then when I take off the lid it um, releases its um, more powderized herbs that have been mixed up from the shaking. And those herbs are what's going to fill the air and um, protect the space. So, Oh, and if you are curious, you do need your circle up for this. So let me get that done with. Okay, so I got my circle. I did say it hopefully quiet enough you couldn't hear because that is my quick version, but it is my per it is one of my personal versions. So cleansing the space. The cir my circle does usually cover my entire room that I'm using, so um, I'm going to light these candles. And by light, I mean turn them on because these are electric. If you've seen any previous videos, you probably know why. Because in just about every video, I mention why. I'm going to stop mentioning that. We're going to turn off the light so you can mainly see the candles. And, um... For the spell, I am sharing this spell because this is um, a non-personal spell. I've shared this with just about everyone I know. Can't quite see me anymore. There I am right above the small candle. I just, my hand is around it. You know what, I think I can do this with the light on. Because you guys can't quite see what's going on and you need to see what I'm doing. Um, so I want you to put both your hands together, almost like... Um, praying in a way, but you want to face them downwards at the water. Okay, and then you're going to focus or light your energy towards the water. So you're going to picture whatever type of light it is that you think is your energy, your aura field, um, such as um, white. Some people think their aura is white and some people can actually see your aura. So if you, can, if you know someone who can see auras, Ask them what color they think is your aura, and then picture you sending your aura and all of your energy to the water. And then picture, as it reaches the water, it turning into a white circle um, in the shape of the moon, or whatever. Um, picture into the shape of the moon that it is currently in the color field. You're going to need your wand, so pick that up. If you're using a pentacle or a pentagram or whatever you want to call it, you touch each corner and you do that with just about any symbol you're using, except for the triple crescent. With that one, you touch, you put your wand down into each crescent moon. I'm using the triquetra, so I'm going to just touch each tip with the wand. And that represents me sending energy and collecting energy. And then once I do with that, once I have that energy, I touch the four corners on the cup. Um, this is mainly just sitting here, by the way. I'm not going to actually use that. Um, then, um, hold on, I haven't written the spell out yet, which is an idiotic thing of me. Um, I have it written somewhere, I just don't know where. Oh well, uh, my time is running out because my camera can only go for a certain period of time. Um, moon that's here, moon that's fair. Bless this water with all these powers that is near. By the moon, I bless it thee. By the moon, so mote it be. Then you do this with your hands, back and forth, until you feel energy. Then you put that energy on top of the water. Thank you very much. Blessed be.